वेलकम वी विल स्टार्ट विद सम बेसिक क्वेश्चन एंड देन गो इन डिटेल फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज एस ओ पी इन दी फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री एंड एस ओ पी दैट इज स्टैंडर्ड ऑपरेटिंग प्रोसीजर इन दी फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री इज ए डिटेल रिटर्न डॉक्यूमेंट दैट आउटलाइंस दी एक्जैक्ट स्टेप्स एंड गाइडलाइंस फॉर परफॉर्मिंग स्पेसिफिक टास्क और प्रोसेसेस टू एंश्योर कंसिस्टेंसी सेफ्टी एंड रेगुलेटरी कंप्लायंस very important question which document shall be preferred for preparing new sop documents like existing sops regulatory guidelines equipment manuals industry standards internal quality requirements validation reports audit findings and feedback from users can be referred for preparing new sop basic and important what are the important components of sop in the pharmaceutical industry purpose scope responsibilities प्रोसीजर रेफरेंसेस एनेक्शर एंड रिविजन हिस्ट्री आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ एस ओ पी इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एस ओ पीज इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री हियर आर द सिक्स इंपॉर्टेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एस ओ पीज इन द फार्मा इंडस्ट्री दीज आर फर्स्ट एस ओ पी फॉर इक्विपमेंट और इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑपरेशन सेकेंड एस ओ पी फॉर इक्विपमेंट और इंस्ट्रूमेंट क्लीनिंग थर्ड एस ओ पी फॉर इक्विपमेंट और इंस्ट्रूमेंट मेंटेनेंस Fourth, QMS SOPs, which includes SOP for change control, CAPA, deviation, OS, market complaint, etc. Fifth, SOP for calibration, and sixth, SOP for validation. For equipments or instruments, at which stage of qualification SOP shall be prepared? At least draft SOP should be available at operational qualification, that is, OQ stage of equipment or instrument. an equipment sop should be effective during the performance qualification that is pq stage of equipment qualification basic and important when sop shall be revised in the pharmaceutical industry sops in the pharmaceutical industry shall be revised when there are changes in regulations processes technologies or after a deviation or non compliance incident who shall prepare and approve sop SOP shall be prepared by subject matter experts that is SMEs and approved by designated quality assurance personnel or management to ensure compliance and accuracy what triggers SOP revision in the pharmaceutical industry regulatory updates process changes technological advancements audit findings deviation and capa actions periodic review are the trigger points for SOP revision in the pharmaceutical industry why training is important on sop once it is newly prepared or revised training on newly prepared or revised sops is essential to ensure that all personnel are knowledgeable and compliant with the latest procedures thereby maintaining product quality and regulatory compliance can you describe the process of sop revision and approval here are the six important steps for sop revision and approval step 1 identify the need for changes step 2 draft sop revision step 3 senior review and change control procedure step 4 change approval step 5 update the sop document and last very important final step change communication and training how do you ensure that sops are easily understandable for all employees here are the six key points that should be considered while preparing new sops or revising sops first use simple language second avoid confusing words third add visuals fourth translate if needed fifth hold training sessions and sixth get feedback from the users how do you involve cross functional teams in the sop development process involvement includes initial consultation to gather input draft reviews and collaboration during execution test to ensure that the sop is applicable across different functions why is it necessary to circulate prepared draft sop to the responsible persons before finalizing draft copy of sop shall be circulated to the responsible persons for review purpose the reviewers shall recommend for any changes or updation based on their review what key factor should be considered when drafting a new standard operating procedure that is sop to ensure compliance with regulatory requirements for example fda ema or who 
ensure alignment with regulatory guidelines like FDA, EMA, WHO, follow good documentation practices that is GDP, define scope and purpose clearly and include cross references to relevant regulations and guidelines. What is basic requirement for SOP numbering? Each SOP shall have unique numbering system. Once a number is allotted to any SOP, the same number shall not be allotted to any other SOP. The reason behind doing this is identification and traceability. Why initiating change control for preparation or revision of SOP is necessary? Change control initiation for preparation and revision of SOP is necessary for following five reasons. First, regulatory compliance. Second, quality assurance. Third, risk management. Fourth, traceability. And fifth, stakeholder involvement. What softwares or applications nowadays commonly used in the pharmaceutical industry for SOP revision, SOP review or approval? Here is the list of top 5 applications or softwares that are commonly used in pharma industry for SOP revision. First, master control. Second, Viva Quality Docs. Third, Trackwise Digital. Fourth, QMAS EDMS. And fifth, Compliance Quest. All the softwares or applications having the key features like automated workflows, version control and audit trails. And regulatory compliance is majorly including 21 CFR Part 11 compliant. Last and very important question which guidelines are commonly referred for SOP preparation or revision in the pharmaceutical industry. Here is the list of top 5 guidelines that are referred for SOP preparation or revision in the pharmaceutical industry. First, FDS 21 CFR Part 211. Second, UGMP that is Udralex Volume 4. Third, ICH Q7 Good Manufacturing Practice Guide for Active Pharmaceutical Ingredients. Fourth, WHO GMP. And fifth, ISO 9001-2015. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.